Hi guys, Mrs. Mandrich here. I wanted to walk you through our recorded lesson for Thursday, January 14th. And I also wanted to give you a couple of announcements. So remember this coming Monday, the 18th, those of you who are returning in person, we will start classes Monday on a normal schedule like it was when we were in person before. Um, please remember to bring your science binder. You should have paper for your warm up section. Um, and we're gonna hit the ground running because we have a lot more science to cover. If you are staying remote, you will continue to use this same Zoom link and you will be live in class with us. So remember to follow the original bell schedule that tells which hour at what time, okay? All right, I am so excited to be back in person with you guys. I wanna share today's assignment and we'll go through it together. So we've been talking about waves for the last like month or so, and some of it was before Christmas break, some of it was after, and I wanted to put together a review. Okay, most likely, don't tell anyone, but we won't probably take a waves test but I wanna make sure you guys understand this material. And so here is today's assignment. Um, I know some of you don't like when I put the boxes as a shape. So I tried putting them as a text box, okay? Which means you should definitely be able to type in them. Um, what I am not going to do is show or type all of the answers as I'm talking for two reasons. Number one, um, I can't do all those things at the same time. But number two, most importantly, I really want you guys to listen to my whole video instead of just fast forwarding to the end. I know who would do that, right? Um, with all the boxes filled in. So if you need to pause the video, go back, all of those things, you can do that um, if you miss the words that need to go into those boxes. Okay, one more suggestion. If you have another device like your phone or something that you can play my video through, that would be awesome because then you could just look at this screen and type or you can just listen to me as you type, okay? We're gonna start in the middle in this yellow box. It's a word web or a flow chart. And I would like you to type in the words as you hear me go through them. Okay, so waves. Waves transfer energy from one place to another. So we need to put energy here because that's what waves are. They're a transfer of different forms of energy from one place to another, okay? We're gonna skip up here to the top next. So find the ones that have like a light blue or a teal border. And the first kind of waves that we talked about before break are mechanical waves, okay? Mechanical waves require a medium, so they must travel through matter, okay? So one more time, I'm up here. Mechanical waves require a medium, so they must travel through matter. That means that sound waves don't go off across the whole universe, um, because once you exit our atmosphere, there's no matter, you're in empty space, right? So mechanical waves require a medium, so they have to travel through matter. The only main mechanical wave that we really talked about was sound waves, okay? So up here, sound waves are a vibration through a medium, okay? So the way that you make sound or hear sound, that all has to do with vibration of matter. So sound waves are a vibration through a medium. Okay, that's what we talked about before break is mechanical waves, those ones that have to travel through matter. Now we're gonna go over here in the top right and talk about these pink boxes, which are EM waves or electromagnetic waves, okay? We said that electromagnetic waves do not require a medium, so they can travel through empty space, okay? So this one should be medium, and this one should be space, okay? EM waves can travel through empty space. That's why light from all across our galaxy reaches us, okay? We pick up radio frequencies or um, some gamma radiation from stars. EM waves do not require a medium, so they can travel through empty space space, okay? Um, above that, it says what EM waves are. EM waves have both magnetic and electrical properties, okay? 
So EM electromagnetic, they have both electrical and magnetic properties. Okay, I'm gonna move myself over so you guys can see these other boxes up here. Um, up here, the EM spectrum, this should say spectrum, ranges from low energy radio waves to high energy gamma waves. Okay, so one more time, the EM spectrum, oh, my lights went off in my room, ranges from low energy radio waves to high energy gamma waves. Okay, that's our whole EM spectrum. Okay, uh, the other thing that we need to know about the EM spectrum is that visible light is the only portion of the EM spectrum that the human eye can actually pick up on. Okay, so one more time, visible light, what we see with our vision, right? Visible light is the only part of the EM spectrum that the human eye can pick up on. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go down to the bottom half of our chart now where they have like a lime green border. And we're going to look at this together. So we said that waves transfer energy from one place to another. Right under that is a big box with a green border and it says a long box. Um, the way that waves interact with different mediums, okay, affects how we interact with our world. Okay, so obviously we don't live in a void of space where there's not all kinds of matter. Right now my voice is echoing because it's hitting my wall. Um, I'm seeing the lights. So the way that we interact with different, or I'm sorry, waves interact with different mediums affect how we interact with our world. Okay, so there's four main ways that ways that waves interact absorption, refraction, reflection, and color. Okay, I'm gonna start over here with absorption. So some waves do not pass through or reflect and they are absorbed, okay? So waves do not pass through, those are absorbed. So sound waves are absorbed in a soundproof wall, okay? That's an example there. If you can't hear someone in the other room, that's because those sound waves aren't passing through that really dense matter. So this last part, it should say sound waves are absorbed in a soundproof wall, okay? Um, oh, I left out a couple boxes. I'll fix that before I submit it to you guys. Um, so waves, sorry, when we're talking about refraction, refraction is another property of waves, another way they interact. Waves slow down when they pass through a new medium, okay? So we should have slow and medium there. Objects appear bent in water because the waves go slower through the water than the air, okay? So we did those refraction videos and you saw like a pencil in water and it looked like it was bent. That's because, one more time, uh, waves slow down when they pass through a new medium and objects appear bent in water because the waves go slower through the water than through the air. Okay, so that last box should be air. We have two more properties of light to talk about or two different ways that uh, waves interact. Okay, so reflection, you guys know reflection, right, is when waves bounce back off of a flat surface. So when waves bounce back at, off of a flat surface, okay, that's called reflection. Sound waves echo, okay, echo. I was hoping my room would do a good echo, um, but you should put the word echo here. That's a reflection of sound waves. They bounce back off of a surface, okay, light waves, they show our reflection in a mirror. So another example of, of waves reflecting is when light waves bounce back off of a mirror, we see our reflection. So that's what goes there, okay? So the very last thing I'm gonna talk about with you to review is color. 
And my chart here is super colorful, right? Well, for color, you should say objects appear the color of visible light that they reflect. Okay, so the color you see something as is actually the color it's reflecting off of it. All other colors of light are absorbed and do not bounce back to our eye. Okay, so that last sentence should be all other colors of light are absorbed and do not bounce back to our eye. Okay, so I told you guys that I wanted you to watch my whole lesson and that is true. If you are struggling with what goes in some of these boxes, I want you to re-watch the video. I want you to pause and fill them in as you go. And then later this afternoon, I will post a filled in copy, okay, for you guys. But I really want you to watch the video to get your answers. So here's my video. I will see you Monday. I'm so excited. Have a great weekend. Make sure you hit submit. This is worth 40 points. Okay. Have a great rest of your day.